What's up, y'all? So, I am approaching Houston. Well, I'm in Katy right now. Getting ready to go to um, her land. Getting ready to uh, go to Britney's people house, her aunt and her uncle. I'm so excited because I feel like I, I've i been knowing them. This is my first time meeting them, but um, like I literally call them aunt and uncle just from the amount of time that like I hear Britney talk about them, how much Britney talk, speaks about them, and then um, just you know connecting with them over social media. So uh, um, Steve, which is her aunt, she's gonna be doing my hair because I you know couldn't find time to go to LA, and she's a hairstylist here in like the Houston area. So um, the weekend should be really fun. Get my hair done today, and then I don't know what we're doing after that. But then tomorrow we're going to a football game. So yeah, that'll be fun. Every time I link up with Brittany and her mom, we always have a good time. So stay tuned. I said, hey, you perfectly on cue at the end of the night. As I recall, I said, hey, babe. <laughs> Can y'all see me? Is we rolling or is we rolling? All right, guys. So you said what? Thank you. All right, guys. So we are just now getting out of the house. About to go get some food, and we got Miss B on the on the track. What's up, right at We got Miss Nick. <laughs> if 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 y'all kids have musically, I'm gonna put her musically down in the, in the description box because she's awesome. She be dancing and stuff. Awesome. And we got my moan in the back. Look, <laughs> looking as fine as can be <laughs> ever. <laughs> so we're about to go get something. Yeah, I don't know where we're going, but uh, we're we'll gonna find something. Nine, 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 my hair. Oh, you put a lipstick on. Really? Who put some lipstick on? <laughs> Steve did my hair, my middle part. I love my middle part. Uh, so in. All right, so we came to Fish Fish City Grill, <laughs> and it's a happy hour. So we have our margaritas. I have on the rocks, and then the girls have their frozen one over here. How many you gonna have, B? How many you gonna have? Two. <laughs> How many you gonna have? <laughs> I'm excited. So I think I'm gonna get the um the shrimp. No, I'm gonna get the crawfish for boy. I'm gonna go get the shrimp for boy. We're gonna split it. Half and half. I'll get gumbo, she'll get ready. What you getting, B? I'm getting the the fish taco. And you Nay? Fried fish for ready. I almost don't wanna get Wait, you get ready? Yeah. But they just got like some a little bowl. Oh, I like yeah, saying you should have took some of these and got something different. As a oh, yes. You oh. probably can't get a big bowl. What about? Uh, but the only other thing is salad, soup. Oh, oh yeah. You're not going to ask these to salad? They don't have Caesar. They don't? No. <laughs> I already <laughs> looked. <laughs> I've already looked. <laughs> Do a house salad. I'll switch it up. I'm gonna do a house salad for y'all. See that we talking about me. <laughs> y'all, so we have a lot of food. Okay, cool. Thank you. So it's my crawfish etouffee, crawfish tails and rice, gumbo, crawfish po' boy, beef fish, fish tacos, shrimp po' boy, fries, catfish and waffle fries, and red beans and rice. Chow down. Like this. So you just naturally beautiful. I'm like, it just—it's a gift. I got a gift. It's a <laughs> gift from God. You that think I, I would get that? Gift Let me see your brows, Nate. Y'all, she has the perfect brows, and they're not even arched. I guess yet. Get that. <laughs> Do you think I would get that gift one day? Yeah. Trust me, you, you're gonna get it. <laughs> oh, because you get it from me. <laughs> see this? This place doesn't come once in a lifetime. It's—it's it's like. 
I'm finding a hundred dollar bill on the floor. Uh, lucky yeah. day. <laughs> See, that's to me, I buy hundred dollar bills every day. Oh, shit, isn't it? Just natural. Just natural. <laughs> you, you that's my, my girl. You my Oh, look at, look at her. Look at her. Look at her. That's why Brent is like this today. Oh, because of you. Oh. oh. That's how Missy discovered herself. Oh, because of you. Oh. <laughs> She told me. She gets it from me. <laughs> That's how mama became Steve. See, there is no mama. It's just Steve. Because I, she, I gave her this. If she didn't have this, she would just be mama. It wouldn't be no Steve. It would just be mama. Like, I gave it to everybody. Yes, girl. Yes, I don't even understand. I don't get it. She 11 years old, girl, a whole nother mm. lifetime. <laughs> she, she was here before. The, yes, she was. <laughs> I came, God set me down before you was born. Oh! And I just, boom! I just touched, I touched your head. And next thing you know, you just like, whoo! And I went she blossomed. You went back oh. up. That's why you, you just came down. You just came down to and touch me. And I touched me. your forehead. <laughs> You give, you give our hair too? You give our hair? I gave her that bone, that meatless bone. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. What for that? You would've been fat. She would've been what? She would've been fat. Without me, she would've been fat. Without me, she would've been fat. That's why you look like her. She, you, you are. You wouldn't even be Britney. It would've oh, been nice. Who would've been? What? Who would've been? I'm telling you right now, it would've been like this. Like what? Just a stare, just a blinking eye, just... Hey! Irrelevant! <laughs> hey! You are a non-factor! <laughs> uh, that girl is something else, girl! Oh my god, Nay is funny. Let me fix oh, I'm wearing the Kylie Jenner lipstick. And it kind of held up a little bit through eating, but like not like the chocolate toothpaste. Ooh, Nay! Nice. So... <laughs> I gotta test it a little bit longer. I'm on number two. Well, we number three. On number three. What you on? I'm on number one. <laughs> two. You gonna be on number three soon? If I can get rid of two. <laughs> Nasha on her. Nasha on her number one sprite and water. Right and water. Mm mm mm. Let me get four more. <laughs> Ever since I left the city Ever since I left the city Ever since I left the city So tell us about the bean. What, what, what's going on? It, it, it got here in May. So I don't know why it's the first one. Year? <laughs> <laughs> this year. That's oh. what I first seen. That's why it's called Texas First. You first seen it because you first moved out here in May. Well, it ain't been that. Mm -mm. Nah. That's a firm. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. Clearly. <laughs> I ain't got no business, but. What about this Dairy Queen? Give me the 411 on this Dairy Queen right here. Oh, God, don't quit. <laughs> don't quit. Everybody who ate there became successful. Oh, they did. I need to go and eat that. I do too. Y'all are restricted. <laughs> Uh, uh, what is El Pe El Palato? El Napolato. El, El Mexico restaurant. This is it good? good? Yeah, it's alright. Yeah, rice hall. Tweety Market. Yes, that Tweety Market. Look, Steve. Tweet? Yeah. Y'all wanna know about Tweet? Come on, Tweet it. Bye bye. Tweet Tweet. <laughs> Now I'm not gonna lie, this Popeye right here is kicking. Oh, it tastes like the New Orleans one. Oh, there ain't nobody ain't better than Frenchies now. Frenchies is bomb. Mm, like Frenchies are right. I can't tell you. Look in your finger. <laughs> when y'all eat your Frenchies? The first time. The they eat there. Like the best side of the street. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Over here on our left, we have one of our third smallest shopping centers. <laughs> uh, the medical care right there. Uh huh. Uh, everyone, including the doctors, are still in training. <laughs> <laughs> that is not good. <laughs> um, the furthest they ever gotten. There is a good cake place. Cake delicious. Cake delicious. Where you see that? At? Cake delicious. Oh, I did see that. Right there. It's very good. I think they can tell delicious. <laughs> I'm too through. He's a cool guy. I met him once. But um. <laughs> 
The furthest that medical center have ever gotten was on um, blood pressure. <laughs> Words. You yeah, have ever gotten? Ever got. <laughs> Cause Cause he know he not fully like that. He know he's not fully texting yet. He know that. Excuse me. One, two, one, two. Don't have one, two. Got her. Thank you, man. Bye, bye. <laughs> Ooh, it's Christmas. Christmas in November. Ooh, thank you, Lamps Plus. Y'all, they sent me some acrylic chairs. Um. For collaboration basically just to show you guys because i've been dying for these chairs and they reached out to me so i was like uh yes let me get those please yo what's good my babies so today is just another day of me running around um taking care of some business i came to my um peel box to grab some packages um, I spent all day cleaning. Now I'm getting ready to go and look at a few things for a few other spaces in the house. Um, I know that you guys saw my a sneak peek of my living room on the last vlog. One second. I know you guys got a sneak peek of um, my living room on my last vlog, but just so you guys know, I will be doing like how to decorate videos on my beauty channel and those will also turn into um, house tours, like space tours basically. So like a living room tour, a master bedroom tour, a glam closet tour. So all of that will be on my beauty channel. So just so you know, you probably won't see like a tour on the uh, vlog channel that you're watching right now. You'll be seeing those on my beauty channel. Um, and on the vlog channel will be more so of me shopping for those pieces and you guys kind of like coming along with me But you won't see the space decorated on this channel unless you kind of just get like a, a sneak peek uh, behind me, so um, I'm really excited because everything's coming together. I'm super 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 stoked about that um, I know you guys really enjoy the vlog with me Brittany and uh, Marley and Mamona uh, Marley he's been my friend since I was like a baby like two three years old because we lived on the same street in Louisiana and my brothers and his uncle uh, uncles were all like best friends so him and I grew up together I actually funny story I actually used to uh, play with Marley and his uncle i believe chris is his uncle i always get it confused chris is either his uncle or his cousin but i want to say that's his uncle um yeah that's, that's his uncle um i used to play with them and i used to bully marley like i used to tell him like if you don't play tea party with me you gotta go home so he would want to play so he would stay and play a uh, tea party with me and his cousin chris i mean his uncle chris would be like i'm not playing with that and he would leave and i would tell marley like if you want to be my friend you got to play with me so growing up not ever grown is so funny just to like see how close we are still um because we were so close when we were younger so it's just cool that even though i've been away for so long you know living in la that our bond is still there like he's still like my baby you know uh, and he's just an awesome person and Brittany funny story about Brittany um Brittany used to live in Lafayette for a while so Brittany's originally from Generette uh, in Louisiana and then they moved to Dallas and then she moved back to Lafayette and I knew of her and I guess like she was so used to people just trying to be nosy and whatnot um, from our hometown trying to see who she was or whatever that she thought that I was like one of them so she never like I guess tried to like get to know me or whatever and then now that we're older um, about two about two years ago when I was coming to BeautyCon Dallas before um, I moved here uh, she reached out to me on Instagram and we just started talking and yeah we've been cool ever since so that's that's my friendships with them in a nutshell and my Mona she has been so helpful for my transition here um, from LA to Texas and I know a lot of people always ask like why did you choose to move to Texas why did you leave LA and man I tell y'all like LA is just one of those places where it's great to like build your brand there so you could be like in the now 
in the know and be able to attend like these events and whatnot but the people and the vibe there is just it's just sticky like they just hella sticky and for me like not that i care about their vibes because i don't have to hang out with them but it can be a bit discouraging like you just genuinely want to be around really nice people and it's far few in between that you'll find some really nice wholesome people in LA you know and it's overly saturated everybody's competing trying to do the same thing and nothing nothing's wrong with competition but it's on a whole nother level there but I love 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 living there I love living there I love the weather I love um the fact that there was always something to do but as as well as like the cost of living there I'm, I'm not, no no i take that back the cost of living wasn't a problem because i could afford that it was the amount of space you got for that price that bothered me and i was just like uh i don't like i, I don't feel like la or california in general well i'm gonna say la I, I mean to me i just feel like la isn't built my bad um i had to park and whatnot but what i was trying to say is that i feel like la is not structured and not designed for the average person to be able to go there and to come up and build the lifestyle that they want per se um i feel like with homes being so 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 expensive you will find yourself um cooped up in a condo for the rest of your life just to be able to afford payments and that would probably be a two bedroom two bath if you buy and you're spending between four to six seven thousand hundred thousand dollars um and if you want a house with um a yard and more space then you have to move like an hour out which def kind of defeats the purpose of being in la so i just me personally i feel like you know for me it was just something that i didn't want to do i didn't want to feel like I would be renting for the rest of my life I could go ahead and I could have bought something in LA like a condo which I eventually will do that it's my plan to uh, get me something small for whenever I do go back because I do want to go back and forth but I feel like that wasn't a priority for me I just did not feel comfortable with watching my money go down the drain I really wanted my money to go into something that would be mine me paying rent and just thinking about how much more space i could have um being elsewhere it just it motivated me more to just make that happen you know because i traveled so much to where i, w I was home maybe seven days out of the month on a good month um so yeah so it just financially it just didn't make sense um I, I to me personally for what i was paying in rent over two thousand dollars i just felt like it makes more sense to put that money towards something that would be mine so that's why i left cali um i still have the access to go back and forth i still have access to go to the events if i want to um it's only a three hour flight so i could find out about something today be on a flight tomorrow for the event so that's just how i looked at it um and I just felt like I was just tired of being around like the pretentious atmosphere because you don't really realize that the atmosphere and the settings that you're in can somehow some way play a part in your like lifestyle um your aura you know being around people being around like a setting where you know everybody's kind of like mean girls you know very clickish very boom 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 you know whatever you even if you're a very talkative person you go around you try to talk to everybody which is what this which is how i am um you tend to eventually stop that because you're like well what's the point like I mean, even whenever I do try to talk to people or whatever, they like either don't want to talk or they pretend like you want to talk. And I just, I ain't down for the fake shit. So I just be like, you know what? Like, I ain't going to speak unless spoken to. And it's not the kind of person I want to be. That's not the, that's not the environment I want to be in, you know? So that's all of that.
I feel like I could build my legacy, build my empire elsewhere, and I could still commute to and from Cali. So, yeah. Oh, that, that's that in a nutshell. I think I will do a video more specifically and give more examples um, on my main channel. But that's just like that in a nutshell. I just feel like, you know, I've already lived there for five years. I've built my connects. I have the resources that I need. There's no need for me to really stick around. So, yeah. So, I don't know. It's just, there's just, just something I didn't want to do. But... I'm going to wrap this up. I'm about to go into IBB Design to see if they have any new cool things to buy for the home. And yeah, I'm going to take you guys along with me. This is nice. This ball cart. This is really nice. These like little decor plate pieces. So I like how they have everything like set up for you just to kind of get an idea. This is what I need right here. This. I bet it's expensive. Twenty, yep, twenty-five hundred dollars. So I like how they have everything kind of like color coordinated. If you just want like some little bits and pieces, the golds and whites. Then you have the orange. Then you have like the silvers, excuse me. You have the silvers and then you have the greens, the Kelly green. This is actually one of the new um, colors for fall. Yo, they have some really, really, really dope pieces in here. Like it's expensive, but they're nice and they're statement pieces. And they have the best coffee table books ever in America I just like to see like what new pieces I can kind of like incorporate in the home to make it like a what I really want is a really nice um dining room table but i haven't seen one yet oh this is dope this is so sick y'all look at this table oh my god 1800 1800 is so nice Yo, I be finding like the best coffee table books. Like for real. All right guys, so I have the access to get in the back warehouse. And this is like, these are all of the pieces that um, they put out. Um, not every item is on the floor, but you can come to the back with the designer and see like all of the cool um, pieces. More stuff here more stuff there these are all like the entryway tables and whatnot chairs different chairs this one is pretty this gold caught my eye what is this yeah it's a gold console table Oh, let me show you these pieces. These are all sold. No, actually, I lied. Th this is not sold. Oh, look at this. Oh, shit. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. This is unique and different. Oh wow. Yo, this Gucci book is popping. I think I want to get this to go next to my fireplace for the wood. What do you guys think? Should I? This is really cute too. They sell a tonic water here. I'm gonna get these for my office. Really pretty.